What's up everybody? On this episode of Something New here in the Teak Light Basement Bar, Terramana Tequila. People have been waiting for this like crazy. It's selling, owned by The Rock and two other guys from what I understand. But anyway, we're trying the Reposado. So let's see what The Rock is cooking as far as caramelized agave. Watch this episode. What's up everybody, I'm Don Ferguson and welcome back to the Teak Life Basement Bar for another episode of Something New where we try liquors from around the world. So if this is your kind of thing, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on so you don't miss another episode. Okay, this is another exciting day. We have a celebrity owned liquor in the basement bar. Now I tried to get The Rock to come on. Unfortunately, he had some things going on and wasn't able to, but no, that, that really didn't happen. But as close as I got was watching him on Instagram Live talk about Terramana Tequila. And I did actually ask some questions and I did get one answer. So that's kind of cool, right? That, that's close to actually having him in the basement bar, I guess. Maybe. Okay, well let's just get down to it. I got my tasting glass, grab yours, play along at home if you're interested, drink whatever you want. But Terramana, we're trying their Reposado today. Terra means earth, and then Mana is Polynesian for spirit that guides us. So, spirit of the earth. And, you know, watching this Instagram video, and a lot of people asking questions, it was clear that The Rock does have a passion for tequila, especially if you watch the show Ballers. He's drinking a lot of tequila on there, which, hey, who are we to judge, right? I love tequila, obviously. So I think it's cool that, you know, we have people that are bringing tequila to the forefront and kind of trying to make it or, or get it to be mainstream. Now, with that being said, there are a lot of tequila purists that don't really like this movement and don't really appreciate some other tequilas coming on the market. So, first disclaimer here is we approach all of our tastings from a consumer point of view. Uh, so we don't get too in-depth with, you know, the particulars with agave because it, it can be a very, very harsh circle um and it's a very judgmental circle when it comes to pure tequilas secondly we didn't we're not walking into this with any expectations you know we just look at it it's a blank slate we're going to try this and give an opinion and talk about some of the flavor notes and a little bit about the brand as well so that's how we are looking at this tasting it's time to crack it open before we do always want to look at the bottle you know it's engraved terramana it's got a paper label i mean but what's really unique and this is something that i haven't seen you know obviously it's a fake signature by Dwayne the rock johnson but it's got you know all the particulars on it is the nom the roasting the stills aging calories carbs sugars uh gluten free i have yet to see that much information on a tequila bottle and I don't know if I've seen this on any other spirit bottle in the world. <sighs> Whew, that's a tight one. So let's pour, let's uh, get it to breathe. I'm gonna do a healthy pour because I've really, I've really been looking you know, forward to this. Um, mm, you know, so let's get into a little bit of the particulars. Um, as far as Terramana Tequila, as far as I could see is there's a specific distillery with, you know, their brand for their brand only. Um, supposedly it's small batch. I mean, with as big a movie star as he is and the way it's already started selling, I don't know how it can be small batch, just to be honest. Um, it's twice distilled. Um, watching the Instagram video, they use uh, handcrafted copper pots uh, for the distillation. The agave is fully matured. Um, they cook it for days, so it gets that good caramelization. 
And you could smell the sweetness as soon as I pop this incredibly virgin tight bottle cork. Um, you could just feel it ooze out. So say, let, say no more, let's just go into the nosing. And I get a little bit of the agave. Um, obviously you're going to get that. There is, there's like an earthiness, um, like a vegetal type of aroma. Uh, some chard, you're getting the oak barrel, and the rumor is, is that they actually use uh, uh, previous uh, bourbon barrels. Um, now, I did see some other conflicting information that they use American White Oak, so one of the two. I'm getting some chard, so I'm going to actually go with, they're probably using a, um, a X bourbon barrel. Interesting. Cheers. So, coating the palate the first time, that's what you really want to do, is I get some vanilla, I get that sweetness, um, a little, little tiny bit of caramel, not really complex, not deep. Um, there's a little, like, buttery creaminess. It's got a unique flavor that I really can't put my my tongue on, so to speak. But yeah, um, it's smoother than I thought. Um, I don't have a overly peppery finish whatsoever. Uh, it's got a really nice sweetness to it, um, like a vanilla, a sublime caramel, um, a little bit of cinnamon and maybe that's what I'm picking up because it's just a tiny bit of cinnamon so almost like a cinnamon butter which is delicious by the way this is not chilled it's actually please you know it it's actually pleasant um it really it really is it, it, it is smooth in my opinion it's very smooth and I've had some reposados like Coralejo which I think is overly peppery. Um, I like it. It's not bad, um, especially for a traditional. But I mean, this I would consider more of a mainstream or a commercial. Now I'm getting a little bit of that heat. Um, it's not overly peppery, so it's not like a big sting. It's almost like subtle, and then it comes on just a little bit over time. So it's like almost the heat matures. But there's some flavors in here. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really surprised at how smooth it is. And the creaminess, I'm, I'm really digging. I'm really digging that. So Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, you know, has, like I said, a passion for tequila, loves tequila. You see him drinking it on, you know, different shows and, and talking about it. There's even a rumor that he has put a reposado in oatmeal before and a sweet reposado like this i could see that um interesting i've never done that but maybe i will one thing that he does which is really interesting and he was doing it on the instagram live video is he takes pineapple and puts it in you know maybe a cocktail glass or something like that pours some reposado lets it soak for a good half hour and then with chopsticks eats the pineapple so pineapple and tequila go fantastic together if you haven't tried it typically a blanco but a reposado especially if it's a sweet kind of a desserty one with some some caramel some vanilla um it will go really well so that's something that i definitely want to do maybe you should try at home but overall you know i like it i can't say it's the best reposado that i've ever tried but going in with no expectations it's not too bad uh for the price point it's actually one that I can see doing pretty well in the market, especially with his name attached to it. All right, so my glass is getting low, and that wraps up another episode of something new here in the Teak Like Basement Bar, where we try Terramano Tequila, their Reposado, and not bad. You know, something that I would suggest you give a try, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be available everywhere, so you'll be able to do that. Don't forget to follow us on social media. And if you think there's something that deserves to be here on the Teak Life Basement Bar Top, send us a message. 
you can do that all on the website. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn those notifications on. Till we see you next time, I'm going to do another pour of this sweet Terramana. And um, Rock, if you're watching, I'll take another bottle, man. You know, my brother's broke. See you soon.